Greetings to everyone who is watching. Today, I would like to tell you some about types of profiling and especially ones which are usually used by law enforcement agencies such as police, investigators office, and so on. Uh, first of all, for sure, it is necessary to understand what profiling is in general. So profiling is an investigative strategy used by law enforcement agencies to identify suspects committing a crime or to link cases that may have been committed by the same offender. And the first type of profiling is an offender or criminal profiling uh, that uses person's mental, emotional, and personality, personality characteristics, uh, which are based on things done or left at the crime scene. Uh, the next one is a forensic profiling. Uh, it uses trace evidences such as uh, stolen vehicles, calls made from mobile phone, uh, physical traces, for example, DNA, uh, or digital traces in information technologies. Um, another one is racial profiling. Uh, it refers on person's race, ethnicity, religion, or nation origin, and it's based on opinions that some of these descriptions uh, are more inherent to criminal behavior. And the last one I've chosen is geographic profiling that analyzes locations of connected series of crimes to determine the most probable area of offenders' residence. And I would like to tell, to tell you a bit more about the last one, uh, geographic profiling. Um, it usually uses in cases of serial murders and it helps to find the most probable residence of criminal. Uh, the main factors to consider while using uh, geographic profiling are uh, crime locations, offender uh, type, uh, arterial roads and highways, which uh, must have been used by the criminal, uh, then location of bus stops and train stations, uh, routine activities on victims, and some others. Um, although uh, geographic profiling is quite useful in the cases of serial murders, uh, it still has some disadvantages and limitations. Uh, first of all, it's uh, not very efficient in single crimes. As I said, geographic profiling usually uses in cases of serial murders. And also, it may not distinguish between multiple offenders separating in the same area and using uh, similar methods. Uh, so I think that's all I wanted to tell you about types of profiling. Um, thank you for your attention. Have a nice day and goodbye.